Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I am Tarun and we were covering uh, this playlist how to become a ninja developer. So I have already covered uh, let's say the eight or nine videos in this playlist which talks about the the hacks I mean the, the knowledge or the expertise you need to have to become a ninja developer. Ninja developer is not a particular term you can say that uh, a ninja developer is someone who knows how to get things done really nicely and in the clean way. So we talked about the branching strategy, some git commands, git rebase, git squash and the git merge, rest api standards and uh, the full stack uh, developer roadmap then we'll talk uh, we talked about how to baseline as any repository next.js, uh, nest.js, uh, react, express, node.js what all things you must have while while baselining a repository okay and how you can uh, set up your development using monorepo or the workspaces if you have a multi-repo setup and then uh, we talk initially we talked about how to set up your workstations with all the required tools and i hope i, I hope you have liked uh, this playlist so far and uh, based on the audience i will be covering a couple of more videos and those videos are like very generic i will try to give a hands-on demo for those things these are like because you are a pro developer or a ninja developer then you should understand how how to work with docker on the local setup how to you do a simple ci cd setup for your projects either you can use a gitlab or uh, jenkins or you can use github uh, actions for setting up ci cd at what all different devops tools and technologies you should be familiar with just uh, talk about monolith and the microservices different architecture pattern we'll talk about authentication and authorizations and how we are setting up the authentication and authorization in 2023 for all different applications either a client side app server side app or you are just writing uh, this logic for the node.js app then we'll talk about uh, role based access control how then uh, we'll talk about some system design concepts which you should be familiar because uh, as a senior developer you might get an opportunity to talk about the, the architecture I mean once we start a project from the scratch you always uh, attend some meetings decide the architecture okay what are the stack what are the tools what are the technologies you, this project is going to have so it's like a simple system design and as much knowledge as you have on tools and technologies architecture patterns you can contribute more right so that's what we will do uh, some system design concepts and then how you can improve the, the performance of the UI performance security of the UI and performance and security implementation on the API side or a backend side and it's all about mix of uh, microservices and the monolith applications most of my videos I always cover uh, nest.js but uh, I, I, I will try to do a demos on a simple monorepo so let's get started what we are going to do is a docker right so you might have seen that in almost every full stack clone application and, and in every setup i use docker to spin up for mongodb for postgres for the even dynamodb for everything i use docker to create a local stack right i can create a postgres container use it for your node.js or nest.js application I can spin up my MongoDB container, can use it in the express based API app or the Nest.js based API app. And we can also create a container for the Node.js application. So you won't be running your application on the host machine, but inside a Linux tiny container, right? So all those things uh, is on my agenda and I'm going to cover all those things together because I know if i do create one video two videos you will lose the track and that's uh, that, that that's a bad news for me because we, we i am losing the audience so i will try to create as much as together for all of these and then i already have the playlist running for uh, microservices i mean we are building the uber eats clone app so i will build some more videos on that and then nest just advanced that series i really love because i am creating lot more content and uh, yes i'm do i'm just doing and building and then just publishing it and showcasing those things to you so stay tuned next video we are going to talk about the docker desktop end to end uh, basic understanding i mean i already have a big playlist on the docker for the developers but i'm not going to talk about each and every aspect i'm, uh, I'm expecting that you already know something 
and we will build on top of that and then this is important when you are sitting in your uh, uh, architecture discussion for building a new project from the scratch what all technologies you can choose it's nothing to do with the roadmap you have some knowledge now how you implement and how you choose the technologies to build any project from the scratch you might have seen lots of clone uber eats clone swiggy clone some new clones i'm building that might be a good example to understand how you design uh, the apis how you how what particular stack you are choosing for building end-to-end -end application because at the company projects those are enterprise level projects not your college or academic project which you just which you which you just do for the poc purpose right here we need to take care of each and every aspects of building to deploying to managing that application on the cloud okay so stay tuned and uh, let's get started and let's finish this playlist so that we can do something totally new